Hey YouTube, uh, as you may have already seen, iOS 4.2 is now uh, released, and so this video will demonstrate step by step how to get iOS 4.2 on your device in this episode of Tech Time. So we're going to get right to it. The first thing you need is an iPod, iPhone, or iPad connected to your computer. So this is now connecting to my computer. There's the charging screen. All right. After you connect it to your computer, you're going to want to open iTunes. So as you see, uh, I have iTunes open on my computer. And then down here in the second box under version, you're going to see a button that on the top here, it either says update or it'll say check for updates. If it says check for updates, you're going to want to click on check for updates and let it check for updates. Then you're going to get a box that says there's a newer version um, available. You're going to click on download and install. Otherwise, if this says update like mine, you're just going to click on update. Alright, then it kind of confirms with you. Um, Make sure you want to update, so just click on update again. Alright, then you get all that legal stuff. So, you can read that if you want. Click on next. And then click on agree. And then in the top bar, you may notice it will say downloading one item. So it is downloading the iPod software uh, onto your computer. So just let it do that. And that may take a while, so I'm going to pause the video, and we will come back uh, when that finishes. We're in the final seconds of the update downloading onto my computer. And the update took uh, about 15 minutes, maybe 20, so to download to my computer. That'll vary, though, with your internet speed and your computer. And if you haven't uh, already seen my video uh, before, I have posted an iOS 4.2 video. So, and that video um, shows all of the uh, the new features in iOS 4.2. So, whoops. So after you get iOS 4.2 on your device, uh, you could check out my iOS 4.2 features video. The link will be in the description, so you can see what kind of new stuff you could do with your device. So it's finishing up the software part, the downloading part, and it's now moving over to put in the software on my iPod. So it'll start with backing up my iPod. My iPad has no, now gone from blank screen to a screen that says sync in progress.
Okay, so it's restarting my iPod now. Here's now the Connect to iTunes logo on my iPod. And the computer says preparing. And now it says, yeah, preparing iPod for software update. And it says verifying iPod. Now it says waiting for iPod. Now it says updating iPod software. Yeah. Right now it's verifying the update. Oops. Drop my iPod, that would work. Alright. And then a message. Maybe. Message will pop up on your screen. The iPod will restart. Basically, that message just said the iPod is restarting and will show up in iTunes when it has restarted. So my iPod is restarting. doing some housekeeping looks like
Alright. So there's the sync screen. So it wants to start syncing my iPod again. And here's the, the pane. And then maybe. So there's the iPod information. Um, if you haven't seen my <coughs> my iOS 4.2 uh, video already, uh, you may have noticed, or if you have seen my iOS 4.2 video already, you notice it says iOS 4.2 and iOS 4.21 in the title bar. That is because um, there was a last minute bug. Uh, I think it was something to do with audio, and so iOS 4.2 really never existed. Um, and instead it's iOS 4.2.1 um, I don't know why iTunes iTunes calls it iOS 4.2 when you update but it's really iOS 4.2.1 um, so that I actually didn't explain that in the video uh, because that change happened after I made the video but it's in the description and it's also I posted something on my channel I'm talking about it <laughs> I was actually I told people about it because I didn't want anyone getting confused seeing iOS 4.2.1 instead of iOS 4.2 but iTunes called it iOS 4.2 alright so the sync is complete it didn't take very long because I synced before I upgraded now my iPod you now I have iOS 4.2 Oh, uh, you know, if you go into settings, whoops, that's not it, come on, thumb, general, about, scroll down here to version, 4.2.1, and then also, one of the easiest features to get to, that's new, double tap to get to the multitasking pane, slide over to reveal the music controls and you can slide over one more time that's the new feature there's the volume control so then you really know you have iOS 4.2 alright so that's how you get iOS 4.2 on your device um, it comes with uh, iPhone, iPod, and iPad so if you have any of those upgrade them um, although I still think the iPhone if you don't have anything over a 3G or iPod Touch, if you don't have a 3G or 4G, then <coughs> excuse me, then you won't be able to get this update. But if you have any of the newer versions, I think the iPhone, th I want to say the 3G, but I'm not positive. But I know the 3GS and the iPhone 4 um, will accept this update, and also iPhone, I iPod Touch. Uh, any third generation model that that's a 32 and 64 gig, those are the only um, third generation models. And then the fourth generation model uh, will get this update. And then there's only one iPad, and that'll get this update. So that's how you get iOS 4.2 on your device. Uh, pretty simple. Takes uh, about 20 minutes. Uh, subscribe to get the latest Apple news. And until next time, enjoy.